this video we're going to be talking about what the normal heart sounds are so when usually you auscultate what do you expect to hear on a cardiac examination so people usually need this video first in order to build the base on to understand what the pathological sounds are because sometimes we don't as students we don't know what the normal heart sounds are in order to get on to understand what the pathological ones are so on screen now you have the various five different points i want you to remember from this slide so simply we have a right base which is point where my mouse is pointing to this is point number one Point number two is found in the clavicle line, just on the left side of the sternum. So remember, this is the left side of the patient, and this is the right side. So first point was found on the right medial side of the sternum. Left, uh, the first, second base is found on the left. Left base is found in the second intercostal space again, but this time in the right, uh, on the left side. Then you have third point, also known as the herbs point. The herbs point directly lies over the mitral valve. Then you have a fourth point just directly underneath. So points one then points two on the left side. So points two, three, and four, third one known as herbs point, lies directly perpendicular or directly in line with each other, but in the second intercostal space, third, and then fourth. The So far we have one, two, three, four points. Then we have a Siphiot process point here, which is the fifth point, or sometimes most textbooks and, um, and cardiac books usually avoid this point to examine, but I've added it because usually when, when I was taught, I was taught there was, there was this point too. Then there is the sixth and final point known as the apex. Now, these points are very important because they usually correspond to the different valves. So in the heart, we have aortic valve found within the aorta. So this is usually open and closed when the blood is pumped from the left ventricle into the aorta. Then we have a pulmonic valve, which is found in the pulmonary valve. So that goes from the right ventricle, where the blood is being pumped out from the right ventricle into the pulmonary arteries and into the left and right lung. Then we have known as what's known as the tricuspid and mitral valve, also known as atrioventricular valves. This is found between the atria and the ventricles of both left and right side, the tricuspid on the right side and mitral on the left side. So these points, points one, two, three, four, five, six, the main one I want to remember is, some people would ask you when an exam is, the third point is known as herbs point. First one, right base, because on the right side, second base, left base, herbs point, left sternal, left lateral sternal border, because the border of the uh, uh, sternum, and then you have the Siphiot point and the apex. So there's six points I want you to remember. So we can see the different projections of the sound when the valves close and the blood flows. Now this is important because this correlates to the different points where you auscultate within the chest region in order to hear the sounds better. So on screen, we have the first point, or known as the right base. This was used mainly to hear the aortic valve because you can see the aortic valve is located in the arch of the aorta just before the start of the arch of the aorta. So when this closes, when this valve closes or opens, usually the sound produced is projected in this direction Hence why we usually auscultate in the second intercostal space on the right side to best hear the aortic valve sounds. So if you have any problems with the aortic valve and you want to hear directly for aortic revegetation, aortic stenosis or anything like that, usually it's best heard here or in the neck region, which I will touch later on in this video or in a separate video. Now, you can see here is the pulmonic valve and this is known as the left base point or the second point according to my diagram. This is also again found in the second intercostal space but on the left hand side. So here is the best heard sound is of the pulmonary valve. Then you have herbs point which is here the third point which is directly below the second point in the third intercostal space here the sound you get a mixture of everything you kind of get a mixture mainly you hear directly the pulmonic valve you when the vectors if you are good with math mathematics and stuff you can find out the vectors directly when they add up so there's one going this way one going down so those cancels out then here and here so directly the main valves to be heard in the herbs point are both the pulmonic and the tricuspid valve because the sound travels in that direction but generally to be understanding, to keep in your head the third point, or known as Elf's point, you have a general idea or you can hear the heart sound of all the valves. So you would end up hearing the usual lub dub, i.e. the S1 and S2, which we'll go into detail later on in the video. In the fourth point, or known as here, here what you would hear is the tricuspid valve the most, because you can see the tricuspid valve is found here in between the right atrium and the right ventricle, and the sound produced or the closure by this closure of the tricuspid valve is projected in this direction. So the fourth point is mainly used for the tricuspid valve. So previously I said that there was a fifth and the sixth point, but in this diagram we are, the fifth point is the apex point where the mitral valve is best heard. So this diagram is very important to so pause the video to find out exactly which direction or which vector plane the sound of the, by, the, by the closure of these valves travel to in order to understand better why we use these different points to hear certain valves and certain sounds. So on screen now you can see just an overview. So the first point on the right base is usually used for the evaluation of the aortic valve, the second base for the pulmonary valve, then the herbs point, which, like we said, is just simply found in third intercostal space, but generalized view or generalized sound of the whole heart in general. So you would end up hearing a 
not a direct specific valve, but just all the valves together. Then you have the tricuspid valve point, which is known as the fourth point. The projection of the sound is coming from this direction, so you hear the tricuspid here, and then the apex usually used to best hear the mitral valve.